Hi Scorpio, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for a Scorpio sun, moon, or rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. <laughs> cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Scorpio and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email down there and or on my website and that way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability does open up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, thank you for all the ways that you have supported my channel. And let's dive in, shall we? Okay. Let's see if what comes out here, okay. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Huh. Alright, I'm cool with that. Should we take all those three? Oh, well, no wonder. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a perfect little combination. Alright. Scorps. You have got in the center here, I, this is definitely talking about you and another connection. Okay. We've got Shapeshifter and the Self. And I feel as though, um, like this isn't completely to talk negative, but I feel like you could have been, you could have seen a different side of a person and I don't know how this is playing out, but it might be pulling you back towards yourself. Okay. But it's almost like, uh, I almost wanted to say this was Anima Mundi which is like no separation, reject all, or reject none type of an energy, but it's not, it's Gnosis, it's inner knowing and mystic truths. I feel like that's coming in. Oh, do I want to say this? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Scorps, I think that in some way, shape or form, like you could be dealing with someone that shape shifts, you know, like, Sometimes the way I see shape-shifting is it can be a people-pleaser. Like, you know, sometimes like someone that kind of merges. It's an adaptive style. A lot of humans have it in some way, shape, or form. And there's something here about maybe staying true to yourself or um, something mystically truthful is coming out about this connection. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I really don't want to say this, but I'm going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one. Should I wait until it pops out? I'm telling you, that was it. There it is. I swear that flipped, and I am going to take it, okay? Okay. All right. We have the Knight of Swords, adaptability. What did I just say about adaptability? And we have capable courage, inner strength, and tenacity. And then the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. <sighs> Dude, okay. There is a particular person. I have no idea who this person is. Family, friend, lover, whoever the heck this is. It's almost like you kind of had to go along this path and just kind of focus on yourself but you even though it seems like your back is turned toward this particular person you still keep in touch with them either energetically or you watch them in some way shape or form but you kind of had to turn your back to them but also but you still keep your attention on them you're still looking at them but You've had to maintain boundaries for some reason. And I feel like it could have been because like maybe you lost yourself in the connection or you felt like you were just seeing multiple sides of a person. But there also could be a lot of like truths that are coming up, even about the similarities. Whatever happened, it's almost like you, this particular person, in some way, it, catal it catapulted you into getting in touch with yourself. Like that's been kind of your goal or your process. But the Wheel of Fortune is kind of telling me that there is a change up happening somehow in this connection. Like there's there's something changing in the dynamic 
and that could also be why like say for instance if this person is kind of like getting in touch with you if you have some type of inner knowing or mystic truth like you are receiving some type of information about a particular person maybe that they're like suffering or they're going through something specific and it also could be because like this person is actually shifting and, and adapting and making changes because I feel as though they could be learning certain things and it might actually be that the connection is coming back around. So like there's definitely a switch up or a change that's happening here. And I almost feel like the entanglement between you and this particular person is almost like a cart and a horse. When you elevate vibrationally, when you come back more in tune with yourself, and it's, it's through a lot of, it's not very easy. Like, it's a lot of internal bringing your hormones into a balance. So that's why I'm talking about the quantum level as far as, like, connecting properly in an alkalized way your energy is like bringing them back into consciousness and back into a higher vibration like that's been a part of your process and this person was very much so a catalyst in that process so the connection between the two of you there is a lot of depth to it because and that also could be also like why you still have your attention on them because maybe there is even something about that you're you're waiting for them to come to a certain truth and and to come back around and maybe meet you at this vibration i don't know let's see what that is okay oh look at that look at that two kings three okay well that's what i want to start off with because page of swords is like there's still a watching this is a stalking card okay so whoever this person is is they still are keeping tabs or keeping touch in some way shape or form um there's a new chapter opening up here the full card Hold on, let me keep pulling all the cards because there's a lot. I mean, especially this. This is pretty crazy. We have the King of Swords, the King of Wands, and the freaking King of Cups. Three kings that came out right there. Wow. Honestly, Scorpio, what this feels like to me is like a coming together definitely with three people that are like on the same level wow like very mature and you all bring something different to the table that's why i love this don't get too caught up on the signs i know this could be air fire or water but don't get too caught up on that because there's almost certain things that you guys bring to the table and the connection or the bringing together of all your guys's energies is like it's going to be huge. Oh, I'm going to switch this around. Bear with me, okay? Because I feel as though right now, like, the energy feels as though this Four of Cups can be boredom, disappointment. That's being highlighted right now in some way, shape, or form. Like, something about your reality or something could be kind of, like, highlighting that you're not quite satisfied with where you're at so you might be starting to look into certain things maybe even looking at certain people and trying to see what becomes activated here because i do feel as like i am i'm totally going to switch all these around because i feel very strongly that there's like there could be some new communication that comes in this page of swords doesn't feel crazy negative it could just be kind of like that these are like the beginning phases of conversation, like throwing out ideas or kind of like, but look at the connection here, especially three. Three is like such a powerful number because it's, it's like associated with the Trinity. It's the Godhead. It's a lot of like, you know, Nikola Tesla said, if you want to understand the vibrations of the universe, you just have to look at the vibration of three, six, and nine. Like, they're very symmetrical numbers. 
nine especially turns every number back into itself, which is really fascinating in numerology. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that, but this coming together of these three people, very skilled, very highly skilled, developed people might actually open up a brand new beginning here, whatever this is. It's definitely like a powerful, like coming together. It could be a collaboration. I don't know what this is. It feels like the beginning phases are somehow coming in. Let me grab just one more card to kind of clarify all these kings. I'm not going to lie. Also, some of you guys, this could just be in general, but also if you guys are like single Scorpio, you might actually have a lot of freaking attention coming in towards you. Like you might actually have three people specifically come in towards you and like maybe making an offer. These are very serious people. It's like they definitely have different things. It's, I'm sad that the King of Pentacles didn't come out because that one is kind of like, <laughs> I think I'm a little biased. That one's my favorite. It's not like I'm, I do love Virgos. God, why am I saying you guys don't care? <gasps> OMG. Um. <sighs> Scorpio. <laughs> wow. Did that really just happen? I am sitting here mind blown. Wow. That just happened. All of the freaking four kings came out. Wow. So, <laughs> um, if you guys have people coming towards you, it's like you've got your pick of the bunch um, and that might be <laughs> like really different. If this is like an individual process, you might be shape-shifting yourself, like shifting into a different version of yourself, like some type of crazy change is happening for you. And I, it's fascinating the way that this is coming in because I feel as though there's some new conversations that are gonna take place with possibly a lot of peeps here and on king level, very, mature established like serious about what they want it's there's a brand new freaking chapter coming in here wow um yeah we're gonna dive into the extended of course if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link and i'll see it over there but um scorpio wow if, if this is where we leave things i'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care